Welcome back once again. I hope you made sure that you take that little break. You go get that little drink, you know, you go get that little alcoholic beverage because in Qatar, they're definitely thirsty. But before we go any further, we're going to be jumping into last this weekend rather last night and this weekend's fixtures and what basically transpired in some of the matches that happened there so looking at some of the fixtures japan lost to costa rica costa rica costa rica i'm sure they're dancing all over there in the south american country belgium and morocco definitely was also an upset as morocco decided to spoil belgium's tournament with a win on that match 2-0 it was to Morocco Croatia and Canada played it out in an exciting goal bonanza 4-1 as expected for Croatia to basically walk away with that one it is indeed Canada's first time playing at a finals Spain and Germany gave us a thrilling matchup it was a bit of a slow start up but then 1-1 definitely got fans to the edge of their seats and this is basically what happened over the weekend as we move forward looking at your group E standing Spain are at the top with four points winning one drawing one with no losses for them they've got a big goal advantage with eight to one on that one japan coming in on second with costa rica in third costa rica and japan tied on three points each with both of them winning one and losing one respectively costa rica obviously down on goal difference due to that 7-0 drubbing by spain germany what's happening what's happening what's happening to the Mannschaft they've definitely won the title they've won the World Cup four times the second most country to win after Brazil but it doesn't look like it's coming in their favor they need to return to the Bundesliga to make sure that they can school some of the young ones. Morocco definitely jeopardized Belgium's World Cup hopes as Alder Hamid Sabari and Zakiri Abudu Gals late goals secured a surprise 2-0 triumph in Doha on Sunday Belgium third in Russia's four years years ago could have qualified for the last 16 with a victory but instead produced another ins inspiring display after their fortunate opening win over Canada substitute Sabari was the hero thanks to a 73rd minute free kick which Thibaut Tukwa, Courtois rather allowed to bounce in his near post before Abkudal grabbed a second in stoppage time definitely definitely interesting there as we jump forward looking at some of your group f action and the current standings happening there croatia at the top of the table with four points and then morocco in second also tied on four points both of them have won and drawn respectively with croatia topping the table due to goal advantage belgium and canada are in third and fourth canada unfortunately eh, He's on, they are on the first ticket home after Qatar and like Qatar staying right where they are because it is their home. But Canada are the first team to definitely jump onto the plane and make sure that they can go back to where they come from. Belgium are in third there and uh, comfortably, comfortably need to fight for the next one. We have more fixtures coming up this weekend and we would love to hear from you guys to know what is actually happening in the streets, what's happening on the socials. Make sure that you hit us up. Soweto TV everywhere on all social media platforms. Hashtag DN2022 World Cup. As we jump forward into what's happening this week, we would like to see what are the fixtures that we can expect for tomorrow. Cameroon, and Serbia are obviously playing today as well. Don't forget matches are happening back to back to back every single day. Cameroon and Serbia definitely had an interesting one there. Cameroon scored first and celebrated as the, cloud, as the crowd went up in smoke. But then Serbia made sure that they hey, were also in the tournament to fight. It was 3-1 until Cameroon's number 10. It seems like that number 10 jersey is special because I saw Samuel Eto sitting in the stands pointing and saying that's my guy because he, he made sure that the big lions, the indomitable lions make sure and come back to a 3-3 draw on that one. South Korea lose to Ghana. Thank you the Lord because we'd love to see an African team make sure that they go into the last 16. 3-2 it was to Ghana after the final whistle. Tonight we have Brazil and Switzerland coming into the fold. Brazil have time to basically bring in some of their youngsters, some of their fresh legs who are going to basically be replacing the out and injured Neymar. Portugal and Uruguay are also up the, tonight for the final fixture of the evening. Definitely, definitely a big, big day for football. Definitely a big day for Ronaldo and unfortunately not as big for Neymar. But thank you for staying with us this weekend. It is definitely 
right where you must be right here on Soweto TV it's Disky Night the World Cup edition bringing you all the latest and the greatest all the way from Qatar thank you for joining us this evening and make sure that you stay with the same place same time right here Soweto TV bringing you the latest and the greatest in the world of sports that's how we wrap up tonight oh it's exciting it's going to be crazy. More goals, more bonanza as we kick forward to what is going to be a very, very, very dawn of the new era. All the old stars are leaving. Messi, Ronaldo, Luka Modric, Lucas Podolski. Oh, he's already, really long gone. I meant Lewandowski. All of these guys are basically stepping down after their final World Cup. To do five is a big feat. And we are definitely congratulating them all the way from South Africa. But we are behind the big guys in Africa. Ghana, make sure you do us proud. Senegal, we're still watching you for that third matchup. Please, please, don't forget. And Cameroon, thank you. Thank you for making us proud. It is indeed Disky Night right here on Suedo TV. Don't go anywhere. Tomorrow, we are back with more action right here on your screens.